All right. Hello, Internet. And thanks for joining us on another adventure into a Wii game. All right. So this time I've picked a Wii game called Wacky Races Crash and Dash. Dash? Dash? Yeah. Um, anyway, this is one I selected this time. I got this one a while ago. I haven't really played it yet. Um, so I finally put it in. You'll watch. You know, if you're watching the video, you'll see what's going on there. Um, so this came out in 2008. It got some pretty bad reviews when it came out. And this There was a DS version as well. Um, now, I don't think it was fair. And, and, you know, fair warning here. I may have some nostalgia since I used to watch the cartoons when I was younger. Um, now, of course, I didn't watch the cartoons when they came out. That was in the 60s. Um, I did watch reruns in the late 80s, though. Um, but still, you know, it's Hanna Barbera. How can you not, you know, enjoy this? First thing you notice when you put the game on is, um, you know, the graphics, the, um, the some very nice colors. Uh, the menus are real easy on the eyes. Um, the audio is good. Um, and then once you actually start the game, um, uh, well, before we get into that, let's, there's, <laughs> I'm going to be all over on this one. So, this, uh, as far as controls, let's talk about controls first. Um, it got criticized for its controls, uh, saying they weren't very good. Um, the controls are really simple. Um, this is a top-down sort of racing game. There's no acceleration, there's no brake or any of that. You're just using the analog on the nunchuck to move you around. That's it. If you want to speed up, shake the nunchuck or shake the uh, remote. Um, if you want to use an item or a special ability, I should say, you press A. And then there's some mini games throughout where they give you instructions before the mini game. Um, I didn't have any issues with the controls. Now, I think what happened with this is um, the the reviewers who have done this and uh, or done this uh, the reviewers who gave this bad scores um, didn't look at it at the kind of game that that it was meant to be. I guess it may fall under shovelware. It definitely doesn't for me, however. Um, this is a very accessible game. Anybody can play this. The controls are super simple. Um, I'm not sure who the, the target market was. Uh, probably my age group, but the, um, you know, anyone who Maybe they were going for the older market, you know, where the Wii was so successful with such a wide range of different styles of gamers. They probably wanted to take advantage of that with this game. Um, super accessible, super easy to play, uh, really fun. This is the kind of game, if you play in a group, it's going to be likened to Monopoly, where everyone's going to hate each other at the end, but they all had a good time. Um, <laughs> um, you know, that being said, um, I think Mario Kart is still a better, you know, racing game, but this is definitely a game that is even easier to pick up than Mario Kart, I'd say. Um, so anyway, going back to um, the controls, so you only have the one option, nunchuck and remote combo. Uh, at first, when I started the race, I thought it was sort of silly since it was such an easy configuration. Why can't I just use a remote sideways? Then when you break into the mini games, that's when uh, you have to use uh, the nunchuck along with the mode of using pointing and a little bit more motion control. And um, this game is not hindered by the motion controls at all. They're, um, for what it's worth, they're they're pretty well done. Um, so, any critiques on the controllers that it got definitely doesn't hold up. I think people are just looking at this game thinking it was too simplistic. Um, I think that's what it was, but you know, everyone has their own opinion. My opinion, the controls are great. Anybody can pick this up. Um, so, controls are fine. No issues there. Um, menus are fine. And when you start the game, you're presented with three different modes. Um, you're sorry, I'm just looking down here. Oh, where are the modes listed? Sorry guys, I don't have the screen up right now. I'm not looking at it. Ten game screen, six. Yeah, okay. So you've got crazy circuit. Now every one of these, um, I believe, 
Um, you know, it's missing an option here. There's a third one. I don't know why it's not written in the manual. Anyway, you got two basic ones and then a third. Um, Crazy Circuit, which is your main game. Um, by playing through this, you can unlock extra tracks. Um, the tracks are pretty nutty. Um, I mean, they're straightforward, but they're they split and they turn around. They get sharp turns. They're just you know, it's a game where there's no advantage <laughs> to being skilled or not, which is fine because it's just that kind of a game. Um, uh, so you can play through the circuit. The circuit, uh, there's a series of races you play through uh, to complete the circuit. That's all it is. And then you unlock them as you go through it. Um, it's up to four players right off the bat. You don't have to select multiplayer. You go right into the menu. Anybody with a remote numjack can join. Um, and there's a wacky race. Um, in this one, you can just go ahead and play a single race. Uh, you know, real straightforward like that. Of course, only the races that are unlocked. Um, and then there's the... Um, Page 13, Dastardly Traps. Dick Dastardly's Devious Traps. You know, I didn't play that one. Let me see if it gives me a... Oh, trap Challenge. That's what it's called. I don't know why the manual doesn't cover this third one. Uh, but Trap Challenge, all you're doing is playing through the traps, the, uh, the mini games. So it's just a mini game, game. And the mini games are, are easy. It's kind of like a, it's not as huge a selection in the mini games, but they play sort of like a, one of the Wario games that you would play on the Wii or the one on the Wii U or 3DS. Um, the mini game Wario games, of course. Um, <clears throat> now, as far as characters, uh, if you ever watched a cartoon, you know there's a whole bunch of characters. Um, so you get to play 10 out of the, the main 11 um, group of characters. They don't, you're not singling them out, you're playing as the, the team, so there's 10 teams. Um, you don't play as Dick Das really, because he's the guy you know, setting all the traps. Uh, so you get Peter Perfect, you get Penelope Pitstop, uh, Luke and Blubber Bear, the Slag Brothers, uh, Red Max, the Ant Hill Mob, the Gruesome Twosome, Professor Pat Pending, <laughs> Rufus Roughcut and Sawtooth and Sergeant Blast in Private Meekly. So you get 10 different characters. They're unlocked right from the beginning. There's nothing to do. Which is, again, it's this kind of a game. So you pick it up, you play, you can play whoever you want. You know, it's it's got a wider, broader appeal because of that, I think. Um, less of a challenge if you're, or less of a, a drive, I guess. If you're playing this by yourself, there's not as much drive to this game as far as trying to complete it or unlock levels but in a, a group setting it's it's definitely going to be a lot more fun i would put this down as an excellent party game maybe not the best racing game for a single player but not a bad game um so controls are good good character selection uh let's jump into the audio the audio is excellent the sound effects everything stands out the music is good i wouldn't say it's the music is stand out but the music is good um the best part about the audio when you're playing, other than you know your regular effects and whatnot, is there's narration. Just like if you were watching the cartoon, there's narration. So as different players are pulling forward, the narrator just talks, and he talks consistently through the race, um, and it's never annoying. Um, it never gets old. Um, it's different enough. So if someone's using a superpower or you know or one of their powers. The narrator talks about that. If someone pulls ahead and first, he talks about that. If there's a trap coming up, he talks about that. Um, so narration is pretty cool. Uh, so the audio is good. The gameplay is good. The controls are good. Um, the the way some more about the gameplay, I guess. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place on this one. The gameplay um, is is kind of odd. So you're playing through the race. And then you'll get to one of the the traps, and it interrupts the gameplay, so it kind of takes you out of the immersion. But it's okay; <laughs> it's not bad. Um, and then you play the mini game, and um, you play through it, and then it continues to the race. It's pretty seamless. It does break up the race a bit, and again, the immersion is interrupted. But um, 
you're not going to mind, especially if you're playing with other people. It's it's a good time, um, and it breaks up uh, breaking up the race. Actually, I think keeps the game more interesting. Um, it's again not bad. So uh, what else? Uh, cutscenes. The cutscenes are excellent. Um, they're animated. Um, I don't think they're original animations from the series. I think they were made specifically for this game. Um, but they're super clean looking. The audio is great on them. Um, they're funny. There's, there's nothing negative to say there. Uh, so even the cutscenes, you, you got to watch the cutscenes. Do not skip the cutscenes. Um, so everything is good so far. Um, now, in-game graphics are a little on the weak side. There's nothing to shout about. They're super simple, a little oversimplified. There's a lot of jagged edges. So if you're, you know, big on amazing graphics, this isn't going to be your game. But if you can see past that, you're going to enjoy yourself. Uh, so uh, what else is there to talk about? Graphics, audio, gameplay, controls. Um, Comes with a decent manual. Black and white, though. I'm trying to think of. Did I miss anything? I kind of ran through this. I didn't prep anything. Um, now, let's see how much this game is selling for here. Price charting. Uh, price charting is a good tool, by the way, if you guys don't use that to see where the value of your games are. It gives you a, an idea if you're getting a good deal or not. Wacky races on the Wii. All right, so I don't understand how this happens. The so the trending complete price is about seven bucks. The loose price is uh, seven and a quarter. I don't get it. Um, new price is thirty. Anyway, so your average. Accurate listing, I would say, is around seven dollars, which is pretty good. I think I picked it up for two or three. Um, so, when I pick up the game, yeah, I would say, uh, even if now, of course, the value is at seven, but I would say it's um, at ten dollars, it's a good game. Um, if you're playing in a uh, group situation, if you got buddies coming over, or if you have family, um, or if you're if you just enjoy the cartoon. Um, you're going to find some entertainment out of this. Uh, I wouldn't buy it thinking it was going to be the best, real, amazing, super awesome racing game if you're playing it by yourself. But uh, if you're looking for an easy game to pick up for Thanksgiving or you want to play with your family and you're tired of playing Wii Sports as the family go-to game, um, this will do it. Kids will have no issue picking this up. Adults who don't game will have no issue picking this up. Gamers will have no issue picking this up. In the way that the game plays, is there's almost whether you're skilled or not, the, there's not going to be a huge advantage or disadvantage. Um, definitely there'll be some, but not as much as one would think. So um, I guess I'm about 15 minutes almost here. Uh, probably less once I edit this up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so do I think it's worth it? Yes, of course. I'd say if you can find it for seven or less, I would even spend a couple extra bucks as long as you know what you're getting into with this game. Don't, yeah, I'd say do it. So yeah, go ahead and grab some wacky races, Crash and Dash for the Wii. Um, you're not going to be sorry. It's a good time. All right, I guess that's it. All right, happy interneting, everybody. <laughs>